Hi there, Malcolm here with my 125th booktube video and today I'll be bringing you my review of Storm Thief by Chris Wooding. Now I went into this one completely blind, I didn't know anything about it apart from the fact that Chris Wooding had written it and it's a middle grade book. The story itself is set in the mysterious city of Oracos, sat in the middle of some ocean somewhere on an island and as far as the inhabitants of this island are concerned Oracos is everything. There is nothing beyond Oracos. There is just water, as far as I can see, and nothing beyond it. It is set in some dystopian future where civilization has been big and great and has disappeared, leaving the population of Oracos ignorant of the technologies of the world around them, and they're just trying to eke out a living. And like with many societies, there is a huge deprivation gap, or in this case, the undesirables are branded as only being good enough for the slums, and relegated to such places. If that weren't bad enough, the city itself is occasionally besieged by probability storms, which emanate from a central mysterious building, which can change either the entire layout of the city, swap a couple of buildings around, or change a person's characteristics. The two main characters we follow are Rail, who has to wear a mask, because when one of the storms hit, he lost the ability to breathe, and Moa, a somewhat anemic girl, who's become left-handed thanks to the latest storm. Rel and Moa are thieves for the local thief mistress and on one such venture they get their hands on some mysterious technology from the past. And of course the story revolves around this MacGuffin, what it can do and what it means for the city and for the people within it. The third main character we follow is a gargoyle called Vago who goes on his own adventure and of course the three individuals end up meeting. There's quite a lot going on in here and there are certain elements from the film The Final Fantasy, now those invisible ghost things that kill you when they touch you. There's something very similar in here. There's a zombie element, because Wooding does like his zombie element, and an all-powerful corrupt institution that look, overlooks everybody. So lots of mystery, lots of adventure, lots of zombies, although they're the Taken in this one. This was a lot of fun. Although it doesn't really do anything different or daring, I did enjoy the way the story flowed. I did particularly enjoy the element taken from Roald Dahl's The Witches. I won't give away what, but that's quite a nice little uh, thing there. But I can see the ending, one that can divide people. I've read some reviews on Goodreads and the ending has been quite a few people's sticking point in the story. I won't give it away, but you'll either be able to accept it for what it is or not. Personally, I thought it was fine. I would say the book is worth buying. So there you go, Storm Thief by Chris Wooding. Have you read it or have you read anything else by Chris Wooding? Comments down below, please. But as usual, if you have nothing nice to say, then please keep it to yourself. Thank you and until next time, see you later.